Hey there guys, this is Eric back with another Ajax Control Toolkit tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you the accordion control um, and I'm going to be showing you how to use it statically and dynamically. And I'm also going to go into uh, using the jQuery accordion control because frankly it looks nicer. And I'm going to be showing you how to make that dynamically using C Sharp. And it's not as hard as it sounds. So. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is download the Ajax Control Toolkit, just like in my last video, using NuGet Package Manager. And uh, we will be using the Accordion Control and the Accordion uh, Pain Control uh, from that toolkit. Um, also, I've downloaded jQuery already. It has um, all my jQuery scripts here, and it has all of my uh, content and theming here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my master page so that it is uh, available to me throughout the website. Now what's really nice um, about Visual Studio is you can just grab a .js file, .javascript, and you just drag and drop it into there and it just loads it up as scripts. And then you can do the same thing um, for your cascading style sheets here. You just load those into the headers and you'll be able to reference those throughout the website. It's really awesome. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to this page and we'll save the jQuery stuff for later. Let's go ahead and get started with the accordion. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop in my script manager as always with the uh, Ajax stuff. That's the first thing you always want to do. Next I'm going to drop in my accordion control and then the accordion control has a property called panes and within those panes we are going to add the accordion pane controls and then within each control there is a content and a header attribute and the header attribute is what you're going to see, um, or the description that you're going to click on to open up that specific pane. And the content is obviously going to be the content within that pane. So header one, we'll just call it H1, content one, C1. And we'll just go ahead and make three of these. So there we see it's populated down there in the design view. So let's load her up. Let's see what she looks like. All right. So as we see here, we have H1 and C1. That's our first header and first content. Click on H2. It brings up my second header and second content. H3 will do the same thing. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to our view here. Now you can add um, any controls into these. You can add uh, images, you can add ASP buttons, you can add regular um, buttons. Uh, any, any HTML or ASP you can add within these uh, content header tags. But most of you I'm sure are not going to be doing just static information that will never have to be changed in according control. Um, unless it's some sort of, uh, I guess, tutorial or some sort of um, informational page. But that can be kind of, you know, boring on pages that you want to be dynamic, you know, not having accordion controls. So let's go ahead and try to make this thing dynamic. So I'm just going to delete all the panes and delete the panes tag and just kind of leave that accordion sitting there by itself. And that's going to be called accordion one. Um, so let's go back into the code view. Now, um, just for the purposes of showing you guys um, what's going on, I'm just going to make a loop that's going to reproduce the same text with some different numbers. Um, but what you would do um, after you create all of your controls normally is make the database calls and then use loop through the database um, <coughs> selects to uh, to dynamically um, create
create these controls. So let's just go here and make a label, LBL1. Um, let's make a text box. TBX1. Um, let's make a button. BTM1. Okay. So we have a label that we're going to use for the accordion header, a text box which we're going to use to fill the accordion, and a button which we're also going to use to fill the accordion content. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make an accordion pane like that. And I already have the Ajax Control Toolkit um, imported in here. So that's why that came up. Normally, you would have to type in Ajax Control Toolkit dot accordion pane, like oops, and it's right there. Oh my goodness! So I'm just going to make a small for loop and I'm just going to make two of these things. Or excuse me, three of these things because it's going to start at zero. Alright. So let's just give LBL one some text and we'll just say it's hello plus I like that and then text box dot text dot yeah disable whatever that was weird goodbye plus I and then Oops, I write I wrote text box instead of TVX1, that's why it's giving me that error. And I forgot to make these new, so that's why it keeps throwing me errors. I always forget to do that. Come on, fingers. TBN, that's not right. Okay. So now that we can start coding the rest of this. So, btn one dot text equals um, click inside. And then we'll make PN equal to new accordion pane. So I'm just going to do that since I already have the Ajax control toolkit imported in there. But you can do it either way. Okay. So then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add all these controls to the pane. So I'll be able to one, excuse me, PN dot header container will be the header dot controls dot add and then I'm going to add my label will be a one and then I'm going to add to the content container
text box. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste that. And add that in for the button. And then, so now I formed that, uh, that specific accordion pane. I'm gonna give that pane an ID equal to I. has to be a string. So I'll, I'll do pn pn plus i dot two string. Okay. And then I'm going to add that pane to the, oops, the accordion one dot panes dot add control pn. Okay. So just an overview. We make three controls plus an accordion con pane control. We um, create new controls in the loop. We assign them values. You have to assign the pane um, a different ID for each uh, pane that is created. Those have to be unique. And we add the controls to the pane and then add the pane to the accordion control. So let's go ahead and fire that up and see what that looks like. They have unique IDs. That's why I did this. Alright, so I guess you have to add it in. Uh, we only made two of these here, but it, it'll show you. Um, this is the basics of it. So, um, it says hello zero, has goodbye zero, click zero right there. Hello one, goodbye one, click one. Now, all ASP controls. Um, now, let's add a little bit of styling to this control. Uh, there's actually two styling classes. Um, there's the header CSS class, which I have as header accordion. And then there's the content CSS class, which I have as content accordion. Alright, let's go run this one more time see what it looks like, and voila, that's the Ajax Control Toolkit Accordion. Um, you can do a lot with the, the CSS styling, you can make these rounded corners and stuff, um, you can go ahead and mess with the, uh, the rest of the styling of it, but a lot of that stuff is really tedious work, in my opinion, <laughs> to go ahead and um, go and CSS style it like that, it's a lot easier in my opinion, just to go on to jQuery UI and select like a standard theme here, other themes, or you know, go to the gallery, you can go on these themes. You can even edit these themes and you know make them a little bit different. If you don't like that pink, I want to make it a little bit more red. You can go ahead and do that. And I don't know where it did that for. That was for the content. So any any red in the content. Um, let's see these headers. I mean, it you know it's it's really nice and easy to do. And then you just download the theme and you import the. Uh, you just have to import the style sheet in. So um, so yeah, once you've downloaded. Uh, your age or your jQuery files.